everybody, welcome back to my videos. For those new here, my name is Joe. I inherited a farm from the old man after he passed away. These videos are kind of a record of my progress. So, as you can tell, tell I am up on a, one of the fields checking the canola crop. This field was all grass, so I ploughed it in, and this is, for this field anyway, first terrible crop. I've got to say, it's looking good, considering it's the first crop in this field. This was just grass, and has been just grass for a long time. So I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Um, we will see what the yield is when we get it. For those who have watched my videos previously, this is the field we tested the slurry system out on. So just for location side of things. Looking good. I will see what the, as I said, see what the uh, yield is when we start harvesting it. Right, a couple of things to bring you up to date with. I have done a temporary, I say temporary, it's probably going to be like that for uh, a while yet to deal with the sheep pasture. If you watched a couple of my videos, you will notice there is a bit of hedged off area. She's got trees and some grass, and I had the bees in there. Well, so that their pasture can kind of recover, I have put a temporary sheep pen there. I say temporary, it's probably going to be there for the foreseeable future until I can actually do what I want to do and build a proper indoor pen. A pen where we've got a bit of outdoor space but also got shelter for the winter. Quickly run down there and show you what I've done. Then we will get on with what today is going to be, or the jobs for today. I've not long just got the last lot in here. So we're all here now. Hopefully their pasture will recover and uh, we'll get some grass back on there. About to do a bit of a tree removal, some of the low branches, so they don't hurt themselves. I do know that sheep do like to climb sometimes. Uh, yeah. As I say, it is kind of temporary, but it's probably going to be permanent for now. I am uh, moving the bees elsewhere, just looking for a good spot for them. Right. Looks like, yeah, I need to move those pallets from the greenhouse. seem happy enough there so we'll see how they get on I'm gonna leave them to kind of settle in right on to today's main job as you will see from the title it is that time of year it's gonna be cutting hay slash silage first cut um, I do have still quite a bit of silage in the pit I had thought about selling what's in there. With what we've got, I'm going to do it slightly different. Yes, the pit is, I think it's just over or just under halfway. But uh, we're going to do some hay bales, but also some silage bales. I do, don't know if this will last all the way through till next year, but got quite a bit here I do need to move those tires actually so I've decided to put some get some silage bales just in case this runs out over the winter even over the summer uh, at least we've got something we can feed I do have some silage bales over at the sheep pasture which I could use I think it'd be an idea just to add a few more to uh, pop them up and 
guarantee that we've got enough. Right, so all this has been cleaned out. Kind of opened it up a little bit just to air it out. We have used quite a bit of hay, so we are going to restock. Put a fair bit of hay at the sheep pasture. I may bring some of those back to the farm. Use them here. So, I've got the fen uh, Fent, no, wrong tractor. Voucher all set up for hay. I do know there is a, I won't say roadblock, a lot of activity down by where the potato, small potato field is. There was a rather large excavator being transported down there with police and escort vehicles. I believe there's two trucks. So it could be a little tricky getting to the field we want. Don't know if the road is blocked off. Certainly a go head down there now. Get the first many fields cut. And get this started. I think it's probably about a month, two months, something like that. Then we will be harvesting. So this big field is definitely getting done. I'm tempted to do a mix of hay and silage in that one. Kind of half and half. That is the biggest grass field we've got. Let's see the field of Canoda, which is looking good again. The old market is closed today. It's open the rest of the week. On the uh, old yard, I've had a couple of people already rent some space off me, so we've got two in there at the moment. This is what I was on about. A large excavator coming through the town. Take it steady through here because I don't know if they need to move anything. Nice set of Volvo trucks there, their own little escort vehicles. Quite surprised to see that this morning, but it is there. Right, let's get to the field. One right here. Where are we going to start? There is a small field up top, but I'm going to see what we get off here first. As I said, we don't really need that much. So, it should be good. Make sure everything is hooked and ready to go. Like it is. Just help if I unfold first. hay on this one. Well that's kind of ended that. This wasn't forecasted until later on tomorrow I believe. So that job's kind of been put aside now then. Um, I did get this cut. Uh, I had to make a few changes to the machine for the mowers so I decided not to record it. Now I've got them where I want them, I shall definitely give you a little video of it when I cut the next field, which hopefully will be today, I don't know. As I said, this is not forecasted. So we've got to deal with that now. So, as I 
are having to stop the haymaking side of things to find something else. It's going to take even longer to dry now. Right, let's go and see what we can do. If anything. Now I've got some paperwork to do. That's a big old excavator, that is. Well, I remember, you may have noticed, I don't know if you saw it or not, when I showed the sheep, there's another tool on uh, the excavator we pulled away from the back of the old house. That tool is, I'm going to demolish the house myself you save a bit of money. Um, friend that helped me bring it to the farm is coming back I think later on in the week to transport it back where it is. And then the, all the farming side harvest wise is done. I can, well, I can kind of slowly demolish it, get it all taken down. Save a bit of money in the meantime. Well, a little bit. It cost us a little bit when diesel. Other than that, should be good. Let's get this under cover. It's that time, I might as well nip back, get some lunch, and uh, come back when it stopped raining, hopefully. i do a bit of paperwork as well. Always something. Take you up to the house so you can see Dad's old three-wheeler. I did find a key for it. Unfortunately, it doesn't start at the moment. I believe the battery is dead. So, I have ordered a new battery. I'm waiting for it to come in at the shop. I need a new belt as well. And I am going to change the gaskets. The head gasket. kind of took it apart a little bit just to see what is needed. A few things need changing. Which is what we're doing with that at the moment. There it is. She is. So, bought a few things. Battery bin one, belts, need some light bulbs, all the usual to keep the car going or get the car going. Right, I shall leave this here for a bit. I'm going to get some lunch, do some paperwork, get some stuff done until this weather changes. Should be back, hopefully, when it stops raining. Right, guys, I'm back. It did stop raining. I think it's stopped about an hour, hour and a half ago. As the grass I want to use for hay is still a little bit damp, I'm currently cutting what will be silage grass, silage bales. I know with that it doesn't really... I won't say it doesn't matter whether it's wet or not, but if it's just slightly damp, it, it should be okay. So that's what I'm currently doing. 
unfortunately this field and that field seems to have a lot of weeds in it this year so that's one of the reasons why they are going to get ploughed in this year I'm going to turn them into arable for a little bit change fields these oh well, this one exact uh, uh, this one or that one will be possibly either sheep or cow pasture at some point but I do do need to plough it up. It is that kind of time. It's looking like a decent amount. So we should have a few bells off this one. Basically going to see what I get out of that hay when I cut, once it's dry enough. Whether I cut the big field or more hay. I know they say you can never have too much. It's having space to put it all. That's the only issue. Now, yes, I could use that old yard, parts of the old yard to store it, and still might, because not everything has been uh, taken up. I don't know why, but that always seems to miss. I get to that bit. Always seems to miss bits. Right, I'm guessing some of the blades might need changing. So, yeah, I'm just running this straight up. This is going to be the silage barrels. I'm going to leave the rest until probably tomorrow or the next day to cut due to the rain that we've just had. Right, I apologise about that. Uh, battery died on the camera which is annoying so I did drop back home I wanted to get this bailed up first and, uh, when I did that I did pick up another battery so we're back right As I said we are bailing and making this into silage back up because there's going to be a bale behind me and there was I thought as it's down I don't really want to get it any more wet than it is and it's dried up a little bit because it is quite a warm day it up nicely right for now I'm gonna hold this video here and uh, get this done I think I need to see about getting a more powerful tractor currently doing four miles an hour And you saying that, last time I had this on, I believe, the Fent tractor we had, or we lost it. Might swap over to the other voucher and see if that'll help. Four miles an hour, it's going to take me a while. Come back for that a little bit, let's get on here. Right, as I said, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I do apologise, it's been a bit itty all over the place. Sadly, plans always change, especially when the weather comes into it. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.